Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a uh, brand new video. Uh, literally, we're just gonna be talking uh, about what is going on right now with Cobb tuning and also with EPA. Um, and I guess a little bit of our, our, of our two cents into this. Um, I wanna I wanna reach out to you and let you guys know uh, what we think, uh, what we should be doing moving forward, and uh, how things uh, should be expected at least on our end or from our side um, to get to get the best result out of this. Um, so as of yesterday, uh, Cobb, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know if you guys are linking into this and, and looking information into this, I'm pretty sure you guys know and you guys are very aware of what Cobb published yesterday um, all up on, on Facebook and social media. Um, and this green uh, green project that, uh, that they have going on right now. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already read a bunch of stuff already and, and, and uh, a bunch of people are going crazy with those, this whole thing going on and, and uh, a bunch of people are freaking out. I freaked out for a second. But, uh, but getting into the, into the information a little bit deeper, um, I, I want to find sense into this and I want to find uh, the solution. I don't want to fall back into uh, the idea of being sad about it or being... Um, or feeling guilty about it, or feeling um, literally with no options about this, um, and so what we're gonna what we're gonna what we're gonna put into perspective is what are they really targeting here, and what exactly they are they have going on that uh, that will or would not allow us to tune stuff or to recalibrate stuff uh, for you guys out there. Um, and it's very simple. It's not so much complicated. It's actually a lot simpler and easier than it seems like. Um, essentially, a TGV, uh, it, all it does is, uh, or well, let's, let's kind of mention briefly, the, the main concern for a Subaru community is gonna be the TGV, the catless or catted uh, uh, exhaust system is gonna be uh, flex tuning and also um, anything related with uh, emissions regarding to EVAP and things of that nature. So for us sooner, EGRs are not gonna be able to be deleted. Um, no features will be allowed to be deleted from the car. But let's be honest guys, um, that doesn't mean that we're being taken away from the opportunity of tuning cars or recalibrating in that matter. Um, it's not that, it doesn't mean that we're unable to produce uh, the great result that we have been putting out there for you guys uh, It means that we just have to comply with the law as much as I don't uh, Agree with the terminology or, or the idea behind all this at the end of the day, we don't make the rules we have to we have to play around the, the rules and, and, and have you know um, We have to comply with, with the law in order to stay in business and provide you guys with the best customer service and the best experience that you guys uh, constantly get from us um, we work really hard to um, emphasize the experience and emphasize the customer service because we also uh, feel the passion about what we do. Um, and with this, it's simple. We just got to dial back uh, a few years back into technology um, and, uh, and kind of work with the options available as of right now. But for, for those of you guys enthusiasts, um, Let's be honest, a TGV delete is not going to break a deal to where you don't, you don't make any power. The TGV, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, the TGV is a tumble generator valve. All it does, it opens and closes like a, like a mini throttle body essentially uh, individually on, on each port of the intake and, and, uh, and, the, and the runners of the intake manifold. Um, and all it does is open and closing the cavity and allowing air to flow and re be de redirected in order, to, in order to generate a vortex effect um, into the combustion chamber so efficiency um, it's available by allowing the uh, the molecule with the oxygen and fuel to be mixed more efficiently or more, more compact. Um, the EGR um, exhaust gas recirculation system that it's literally just bringing exhaust uh exhaust gas that's it's a, it's a dead gas it's it's um it doesn't have it doesn't content uh any any oxygen so it's br it's brought back into the combustion chamber to reduce a little bit of temperature at the moment of combustion um 
And, uh, and then the other one, well, for us, uh, it's not having the ability to do any flex tuning any, any longer. The reason why is not because flex two uh, is not beneficial for the environment, is because the analog uh, flex fuel system is, is taking a signal out of the tumble generator while input. And anything that alters or have to interfere with those systems um, previously mentioned, they will fall into the same category. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be other solutions out there. The COP is very competitive uh, in, in terms of finding solutions uh, to be compliant, but also be uh, enthusiast and, 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 and be able to make power with all the stuff that we do and keep continue having fun with uh, all of this. Um, and so, in, 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 in other words, none of these other stuff that we are being uh, prohibited from, from from doing and whatnot, none of this stuff is really going to affect your typical uh, Bolton car. Um, if you really wanna put this into perspective, it's only going to be affected those cars that are going to be um, putting really high horsepower, which let's be honest guys, we don't, we're not driving six, 700 horsepower on the street every day. We just have to be cautious of this. We just have to be aware of this and there's other uh, calibrating tools out there um, that we can definitely use for off-road. Um, if, if you are planning on building a car that is gonna have a substantial amount of power, that is not going to be a car that you're gonna be driving on the street. It's gonna be a car that you're gonna be driving on the track. It's gonna be a car that you're gonna be driving. So for us tuners, for us uh, calibrators, for us dealers, um, this is just, this is just, yes, it, it is a, uh, an obstacle. Yes, it is a complication. Yes, it is a, it, it could be a big deal, but only if we allow it to be a big deal. There's, there's, there's always going to be a way to comply with the law and get the result that we always expect. And one door closes and we're probably going to be finding another 20 doors opening for, for us. So. Here at Ivan Performance Shop, we're committed to uh, provide you guys with the best experience and, and the best results. And we are going to be dedicated to work uh, with this and having, and having a solution uh, for you guys uh, that, are, that are looking to improve and enhance performance on your vehicles. But we want to make sure that we comply with the law. We want to make sure that we stay in touch um, with, uh, with the most recent um, law going on because we don't we will we will lose our business but we don't uh, and we want to stay here we, we, we do this because we love this we do this because we love the car community and we do this because we're passionate about this whole car community um this is opening the door for for us to be creative and more than likely us Ivan Perform shop will be opening the door for other brands that we never thought of um, because of this we're creating this is a this is a, a, a we're collectively in the same problem we're 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 all tied into the same problem uh, you are suffering the, the the scenario so as we are but we all together are gonna find a solution to get back to get back on 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 the on the on what we do and what we like doing but keeping in mind that we have to we have to stay within the law parameters um, Stay tuned guys, because we definitely gonna be uh, talking to you guys about what we have going on, what will, we, what will be uh, a solution for us. And for those of you guys that are planning on building something fun, uh, make sure that you're not looking or searching for parts that can no longer be supported. Um, thank you so much for the support that you guys have been giving to us. And thank you guys so much for the love because we feel it. We feel the love and the support. Um, I, I'm so grateful and blessed to have you guys as a customer and to have you guys as viewers. So stay tuned for, for what's coming up. We really want to follow up with this and we really want to stay in touch with you guys, uh, letting you guys know what the latest update uh, with this whole thing going on. Thank you guys.